The problem with punching is people try to punch. So when you're just moving as a human being, naturally, and your body knows how to move, you don't do weird things, I hope. But when we punch, we try to add tension and we try to add power and then our body gets all out of alignment and gets squirrely. So if I wanted to pick this up, right? Can you imagine if I walked over here and went, hey, why, it doesn't make any sense. My body would walk up, it would naturally go like this, it would just pick it up and go set it down because that's how my body works. If your body doesn't work like that, it's not efficient. So because of tension and fear, most people what they do is they come into people and they get tight and they try to punch and they get all wound and like their hips go and then like you lose the energy, right? There's a flow of the body. The body wants to naturally flow smoothly, like you're throwing a ball. But if you add weirdness and tension to it, it, it makes it hard. So look, I used to do real heavy sparring, like no gloves. I've been on the end of some severe beatings. I understand when you're learning, it's hard to learn this way because you're just trying to survive. Right? If you've taken really bad beatings and sparring, you know, there's not a lot of learning there. You're just trying to not die. So I get that. So how do you learn to do this naturally? You have to learn this in stages. Now, again, there's a community of men out there who are like, come on, it's gotta be full speed, tough, all that. Like, it's okay, but you can't learn that way. What I'm showing you is a very basic step to start with, which is like number one out of 10. You wanna to learn to hit natural. What you have to do is you have to take a partner and hit them natural. And I'm not hitting them hard, I'm just learning mechanics, right? It's like if I was learning a golf swing, you don't just come out gunning away. You would take your time and study how to do it and relax the body and have them fix your form and then eventually you start hitting harder. When you go to hit somebody, you have to get used to the idea that I just approach them like, I wanted to do this, or I just wanted to go like that, or I wanted to say hi, or whatever, right? You have to approach it like that. So as you walk up to people, you want to come up to them and then naturally hit them. Like you're not trying to hit them. You're letting the body do its job without you doing anything to interfere with it. So look, I come up and I touch. So that's very simple. And then you touch. You want to have good mechanics, good form, and it should feel like you're doing nothing. When I throw him like this back, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. Like I don't feel tension and pressure through my body because the body's just naturally doing its job with all the ligaments and tendons the way it's supposed to work. So you have to practice slowly at first on people and understand all the angles to hit and how you do this naturally. If you want to go to the next step, you do the same thing. You walk up and you just naturally hit it. Right? Comfortable. You should, it should be no different than if I was just going like this and I wanted to move it nicely. You have to train your body that this is not a big deal. You have to train your body that this is a natural thing to do and that it's not stressful and it's nothing different than any other thing you do during your day. When I grew up when I was a kid, I grew up in a, a neighborhood that was a little dicey. And, you know, in elementary school, we got in fights all the time. We had a, we had a place out behind the school in like a field almost, or it just happened. On some level, it's natural to punch people for me because I got punched a lot. Sometimes I won, sometimes I lost, it doesn't matter. But it, it's, not a, it's not out of the norm. So many people I know today who come to martial arts have never been in a fight. And it's stressful to them and they don't know how to hit and they don't know what, and they've never been hit, they don't know. So, like, when you see them punch, they try to punch. And it's just because they're not comfortable with themselves yet, because they've never been in it. You have to take people and teach them how to punch and teach them how to do it naturally. It becomes an everyday event. As you get better with it, what happens is, is say I hit him, right? Now he's got to hit me, right? And I hear this. Hear that sound? I hit a medium. It wasn't like hard, but it wasn't like soft either. And how you teach yourself to get comfortable is you have to hit each other on some level to where you get comfortable with the idea you're gonna get punched and you get less afraid of it. Again, that's not hard contact sparring. It, this is the precursor to it. Because if you just start out like this, trying to kill each other, no one will learn how to take a punch and no one will learn how to punch each other because you're just afraid you're gonna get hurt. 
So you have to psychologically teach people over time to prep for getting hit and how to deliver a hit without stress. And this can get really intense down the road. I mean, if you had someone who could take it, you'd really be ripping each other and they'd rip you and you just have to accept the fact of what it is. And then you take it later down the road and maybe you spar with it when you feel more comfortable with it. But the problem is, is when it gets competitive, it's very hard to learn because again, you're just trying to live. Teach yourself to be natural and normal. Don't teach yourself to be tense or upset or do weird things because that stuff sucks the power out of all your punching. And I, again, there's so many macho guys out there who are like, let's all kill each other. No, you're never going to learn right unless you go to the bottom step and work your way up. So this is the bottom step. There is a level zero. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out these next two. I think they'll really help you in your training.